So I'm here to tell you a story of success from Africa. Um, a year and a half ago, four of the five people who are full-time members of Ushahidi, which means testimony in Kiswahili, were TED Fellows. A year ago, in Kenya, we had post-election violence. And in that time, we prototyped and built, in about three days, a system that would allow anybody with a mobile phone to send in information and reports on what was happening around them. We took what we knew about Africa, the default device, the mobile phone as our common denominator, and went from there. We got reports like this. This is just a couple of them from just January 17th last year. And our system was rudimentary. It was very basic. It was a mashup that used data that we collected from people, and we put it on a map. But then we decided we needed to do something more. We needed to take what we had built and create a platform out of it so that it could be used elsewhere in the world. And so there's a team of developers from all over Africa who are part of this team now, from Ghana, from Malawi, from Kenya. There's even some from the US. We're building for smartphones so that it can be used in the developed world as well as the developing world. We're realizing that this is true. If it works in Africa, then it will work anywhere. And so we, we build for it in Africa first, and then we move to the edges. It's now been deployed in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. It's being used by NGOs all over East Africa, small NGOs doing their own little projects. And just this last month, it was deployed by Al Jazeera in Gaza. But that's actually not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the next big thing, because what we're finding out is that we have this capacity to report uh, eyewitness accounts of what's going on in real time, and, and we're seeing this in, in events like Mumbai recently, where it's so much easier to report now than it is to consume it. There's so much information, what do you do? This is the Twitter reports for over three days just covering Mumbai. How do you decide what is important? What's the veracity level of what you're looking at? So what we find is that there's this great deal of wasted crisis information, because it's just too much information for us to, to actually do anything with right now. And what we're actually really concerned with is this first three hours. What we're looking at is the first three hours of how do we deal with that information that's coming in that you can't understand what is actually happening. And on the ground and around the world, people are still curious and trying to figure out what's going on, but they don't know. So what we've built, of course, Ushahidi, is crowdsourcing this information. And you, know, you see this with Twitter, too. You get this information overload. So you've got a lot of information. That's great. But now what? So we think that there's something interesting we can do here. And we have a small team who's working on this. We think that we can actually create a crowdsourced filter, take the crowd and apply them to the information. And by rating it and rating the different people who submit information, we can get refined results and weighted results so that we have a, a better understanding of the probability of something being true or not. And this is a kind of innovation that is, quite frankly, it's interesting that it's coming from Africa. It's coming from places that you wouldn't expect, from young, smart developers. Uh, and it's a community around it that has decided to build this. So thank you very much, and we are very happy to be part of the TED family.